A new power party rally in Taipei to promote their parliamentary candidate Fred Lim. The former rock star is one of the many young faces in Taiwan politics. Their ideals, liberal, independence, and free from the factors of mainland China. Mao Boya is openly gay. She is one of the 20 candidates under the age of 29 running in Taiwan's parliamentary elections this Saturday. The Sunflower Student Movement in 2014 inspired a new generation of politicians in Taiwan. Terence Lin of New Power Party, for example, wants greater transparency in the legislature. As long as we can know what kind of thing you are going to trade inside of this chamber, I think that's good enough for us. And that's the thing that I have inside of the Sunflower Movement and uh, trying to get the people over here to understand that. We cannot just complain behind the screen, uh, complain behind the keyboard. There's got to be some, uh, some time, in some moment that you've got to realize you've got to do something inside of the system. Most of the young candidates rally for support online, trying to reach their voters through mobile phones or computers. They may win over voters their own age, but what about those in the older generation who might not be glued to a screen? Central Election Commission figures show that voters under the age of 30 make up about 17% of the electorate. So of course, uh, if uh, young voters, all young voters uh, turn out to vote, then they have bigger chance. But uh, you, you just cannot only rely on certain generation. But time is on the side of the young candidates. Dr. Tai points out that even if they lose in Saturday's election, they have two years to prepare for the municipal and county elections in 2018.